Good morning. So I was supposed to go live in the group this morning, but my morning is a mess and I just wanted to knock this out. So hopefully before uh, nine o'clock rolls around, I'll already have this posted and in the group to help you out with your Google business optimization. And um, I wanted to start here as far as letting you know that 85% of small business owners don't do not have the online visibility that they think they have. So it all starts with this. This is your Google business profile, business.google.com forward slash create. This is where you start the process. So uh, if I was to come in here and look for your business, if I see it, I can grab it and optimize it. If I don't see it, this is where you add your Google business, okay? So again, that's business.google.com forward slash create. And I'm also suffering with allergies, so I apologize for any sneezing, sniffling, and whatever. Um, so this is the starting point. When you actually create a listing, let me show you that here, we would go to the nine dots at the top right, and we would click on the Business Profile Manager, and I'll just grab mine, and now I'm at a place where I can optimize my Google business profile. This is really, really, really important, okay? So this is now where you get to do all the editing for your profile, all right? So let's go over here to slides. Okay, there's 10 points I wanna cover inside of here. And the first one is complete and accurate information. So just make sure that every section of the Google business profile is filled out 100% completely and accurately, including business name, address, phone number, hours of operation. Accurate information helps Google match your listing to relevant searches and builds trust with customers and citations. So if you, if you spell your name one specific way, then you should spell it that way everywhere. Same with the address. So if we go into right here on the left, we say edit profile. This is the start of your optimization. So your business name, this should be congruent across all of your assets online. Your business category, you can choose, I believe 10 categories and you want your primary category to be number one, okay? So can I go back here a bit? Yeah, straight down here. So I've added, you know, we're a digital marketing specialist, so internet marketing service, marketing agency, software company, website designer, advertising agency, marketing consultant, and you can add more. As you add more and you type in uh, a letter, it starts to pre-populate which categories Google Business has. So you choose the category that's right for you, okay? The description can be up to 750 characters, and this is where you wanna make sure you're optimizing it with some of your keywords. Don't overstuff keywords. One of the worst things you can do is overstuffing keywords. But you wanna make sure you have as much information in here as possible, um, obviously without going over 750 characters. And that's slide one, which is like, make sure your business name, address, and phone number, hours of operation, all of that is correct, okay? This is when I was telling you about utilizing keywords. Strategically use keywords that potential customers are likely to use when searching for your services. Incorporate these keywords naturally into your business description and services. However, avoid keyword stuffing as Google can and will penalize your profile for that practice. Okay, number three, regularly update photos. Okay, add photos. This is really important as another feature for optimizing your Google business profile. You can add photos and videos. And I would be doing before and after videos. I would be doing before and after pictures. I would be doing staff photos. I would include building photos. Let's see what our slide says. Post high quality relevant photos. 
regularly. Business with photos receive 42% more requests for directions and 35% more click-throughs to their websites. Include images of your storefront, your staff, inside the establishment, and give a comprehensive view of your business. And that can be all done inside of adding photos right here. So you can select photos or videos, okay? And then when you find the person's profile, you'll see all the photos um, that you've uploaded, and you'll also see photos that your customers have uploaded as well, okay? So that's an important facet. Encourage and respond to reviews. So the single most important thing you can do to help uh, your business rank on Google is getting reviews and then responding to reviews. Really, really, really important. So you can actually go inside of your profile and you can click ask for reviews and it gives you this link that you can copy. And now we have a CRM called humantouchcrm.ca. Now you can use a CRM like that to automate this process. And you could say, hey, anytime I'm cutting a receipt or an invoice in QuickBooks, I want you to automatically send a Google review request. And this is how you build your reviews. And it's all done through an automation. Barring you don't have a CRM to do that, then you wanna make sure that you always send this referral link out to your customers after sale to ask them for a uh, review. You could also take this link, go over to a QR uh, code generator, generate a QR code, print that on the back of your business card. When you go into the place, uh, if it's a home, if it's whatever it is, you just hand them your card and say, would you mind, would you scan this and give us a review? Our business grows by ratings and, and reviews. So reviews is probably the single most important thing you can do. And then the second most important thing to do is when you get the reviews, you need to respond to them. Say, thank you, appreciate your kind words. Uh, we love digital marketing and everything it stands for and we're here to help, that sort of thing. If you could include a keyword in there, it's always good as well, okay? Okay, number five, use posts to engage with customers. Did you know on your Google business profile, you can create posts like this, okay? You can do it manually, you can do it on an automation. So you could connect your and integrate your Google business profile account to a CRM and then you could go into the marketing planner of our CRM and you can pre-plan posts that will automatically post to your Google business profile, your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok, um, LinkedIn, all of those things. It can do it automatically. So you could sit on a Sunday morning for 20 minutes, half hour, create five, 10 posts for the upcoming month and you could automate it in the system, the CRM. And next thing you know, uh, you've got a more engagement coming in from customers. So it's really easy to do. Again, if you scroll up here, you'll see um, uh, bookings, Q&A, uh, add an update, edit products. So add an update, I think is what it's called. Uh, add an update here. Yeah, I think it's right here. And this is where you add your update. So you can put a photo, a description, up to 1,500 words. I would use as many as I could and add a button like learn more, and then maybe push that button to your website. So put your, your website URL inside of there. So uh, posts are really good. I like to schedule posts out uh, on an automation. And you can see here, I did one April 9th, the last one was November. So I've got to get better at my game. And you can see um, the posts here, okay? That's the beautiful thing is it's giving you more real estate on your profile by doing just that, okay? Okay, that's five. Number six, optimize for mobile. Okay, um, chances are nowadays, we're in 2024, your website is mobile friendly, but you just wanna make sure that it is. Double check your own website on your mobile phone. Make sure the links work that you've included inside your Google business profile. Number seven, add products and services. I love this one. You can see here, 
these are my products and services. So we have, you can, um, you can uh, order citations from us for $297. Uh, you get 300 citations and a citation is your name, address and phone number cited all over the web in different directories like Yelp and Foursquare and City Search. And that provides more trust and relevancy to Google. So when Google looks for you online, they see a citation from Yelp, a citation from City Search, all with your same name, same address, same phone number. Everything is congruent across all platforms. So they know that this is the right guy. They love that. So that's one of our products and services, social media management, your Google business optimization. So these are all products that when we click on, has a picture, has some, uh, some pricing and some text. I would build out your products. Your products could be a service. So if you're a HVAC guy, you've got plumbing, you've got heating, you've got air conditioning, you've got repair, you've got replacement. Those are all products that you'd like to build out and should build out on your profile. Okay. Utilize messaging. Inside of your Google business profile, you can turn on messaging. So our messaging is already turned on. Now you will not see this on desktop, but when you go to mobile on your phone, on your property, you will see a button that says right here that says chat. And now people can chat with you. It's a really good idea to turn it on because it's the lowest barrier of entry for any potential customer prospect to, to engage with you to start a conversation that if you start the conversation and things go well, they may decide then to pick up the phone and give you a call, okay? So you start off with making all these front doors easy for people to communicate with you. So turning on the messaging is a really good thing to do right away. Again, you'll only see it on mobile. Number nine, use booking and order integration. Okay, so in your app, you have uh, right here appointments. And I have it set up for people to book an appointment with me on Calendly. So if I click this, there's the Calendly link where they can actually now book a time with me. If you're a restaurant, you might want to have your um, reservation link here. If you're uh, a restaurant, you might want to have your um, uh, Uber Eats link here, whatever that might look like. Again, we're trying to get as much engagement to this as possible. So it would be a good thing to make sure that you have this link here. Okay. Uh, and I'm just noticing this now. Chat with a live agent. Questions, chat with her. So I've never seen this before. Um, I'm gonna write, oh, I can't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do chat. Well, that's very interesting. So, so that's new on desktop. Um, it's also there now on desktop. Again, that's new. Beautiful thing with digital, it changes every time you take a breath. Anyways, okay. And let's go to this final one uh, in this slide deck. Monitor your insights. So you can regularly check insights provided uh, by Google on your business profile dashboard. This is interesting. So uh, read reviews, measure performance. If you go into performance, you can see the calls, you can see um, the click-throughs, you can see messages, you can see bookings, you can see website clicks, you can change the date, the time frame for the last three months um, as well. So you can go back a max of six months. Again, if you have our CRN, humantouchcrm.ca, you'll connect and integrate your Google account and you'll see even more data inside there and it's a whole lot easier um, to build out. Okay, so that's it for this slide deck. I'm gonna shut this down. One thing I noticed though is right here, um, but um bum where'd it go? Right here, see all questions and uh, all questions. You can ask and answer your own questions so that they're on your profile in case someone's looking for them. You simply um, ask a question. So I've asked the question. And then you come back in and you answer these questions, okay? So I've been a little tardy and I don't think I've answered these questions. So you can have it so the public answers them or yourself. It's best to ask the question yourself and then come back and answer the question yourself, including 
your keywords as much as you possibly can, okay? That's really important. Okay, so now let's, let's go over here. Let's go back to here. Your Google business profile. Now I've heard all kinds of different numbers here. I've heard 70%, 50%, 80%, 82%. Look, we just know that there's a lot of calls happening from within your Google business profile. So it demands your attention and it demands that you optimize it at a high level and you keep your eye on it. And I one thing I did forget, when someone messages you on Google business profile, you have 24 hours to answer it or else Google will turn off your messaging capabilities. Because again, they want a great user experience for your visitor. So if, you, if they ask a question, they'd like you to answer that question. But typically what you see when you search for something is the top few placements are Google ads. Right below that is what we're talking about is the map pack. And this is where your Google business profile will reside. It used to be called Google My Business, Google Business Manager. Now it's called Google Business Profile. And below that is your organic results. Sometimes what you'll see is if you've got a Google business profile and you've got a lot of reviews on it, sometimes it correlates with your placement in the organic results. Now, there's no real proof of that, but I've seen it many, many times where I go search for something and the first guy in the map pack is the first guy in the organic results. And the second guy in the map pack is the second and the third guy is the third or they're very close to that. Okay, so it behooves you to make sure that you get as many Google reviews as you possibly can, because that's one of the things that's going to elevate your listing to get inside the map pack. Okay. All right. Why optimize? Well, we talked about more phone calls, more customers and in-store visits, increases top of page exposure on Google. What I just talked about dollar for dollar, the most effective advertising available today. We run a monthly optimization for 597 for our clients and we help them stay kind of glued inside of the map pack. Okay, this again, just a little something in today's economy, every lead matters, every lead matters. And increasing your presence locally is freaking critical, okay? This is all about local businesses getting and dominating as much as they can so that once you optimize your Google business profile, it like, sucks in leads like a vacuum on steroids. It just performs very well for you. I've had websites and customers without a Google business profile and we've seen not many calls and all of a sudden we install the Google business profile, we start to rank it and start doing some cool things with it. Next thing you know, it starts getting the phone calls. So it's a really important asset that most people don't give enough love to. What is Google Maps? It's cost effective, delivers substantial ROI, return on investment, brand exposure, and demonstrates you as the authority in your location in your city. Um, and then, you know, the, our service we offer talks a lot about near me. So people will search plumber near me, restaurant near me. And that term you can rank for and you can try to extend your signal. So when you're in a city and you open up and you open up a restaurant, let's say, and you uh, create a listing, that listing is good for that location and usually a few miles out of that location. Our goal is to try to extend that location to give you another signal over here, another signal over here, and so on, so you build a much greater proximity to your business for leads. And we can do that with location pages on your website and then driving a post from your Google business profile to that location page to tell Google, hey, did you know we're also over here? And sometimes you'll be blessed by being provided a, a spot in that top three map pack. Uh, why Near Me works. Okay, we've talked a little bit about that. And then this is the nine point or 10 point optimization that we pretty much spoke about that I would highly suggest spending the time inside your Google business profile to make things happen. You can see here one was photos. Two is making sure your name is right. Three is the link, making sure your appointment link is right. 
Uh, four is your address, making sure that is congruent and it's the same across all things. So what I mean by that is if you say you're at 123 Main Street, is the street ST period? Is the street S-T-R-E-E-T? -E -E is it sweet as an S or is it S-U-I-T-E? It should be the exact same everywhere. So when Google sees these citations, there's no discrepancy in their eyes on who you are, where you are. They need the accurate information. Okay. This is near me search technology. Again, part of our uh, search technology for $5.97 per month includes this near me search technology which generally starts to kick in within 30 to 45 days, you start seeing results. And we start turning the reds, yellows, and oranges into greens. And greens mean top one, two, or three placement in the map pack. That's our goal. So this is what we usually do on a monthly basis uh, for our GMB and for client GMBs is we do an offer post once a month. We do an FAQ post once a month. We do a services post once a month. And then we do a review post once a month. Those are four posts that will hit your GMB every month. Uh, and it would be uh, down in here. These are your posts, okay? Again, adding more engagement. And this is the thing I tell you about for 300 bucks, we offer um, citations. And a citation is your business name, address and phone number cited all over the web in different directories. These are some of the directories. So when Google looks for you and sees that Bing and Apple Maps and, and uh, Factual and Foursquare and Uber and Alignable and Find Open are all pointing to you, they understand that you're a, a genuine, authentic, real business and potentially they need to look at you. And that's what citations will do. So these are very, very important and we're looking for the top one data aggregators. There's, there's all kinds of different citations. There's PBNs, private blog networks, but they have little power. We have, uh, and we use top data aggregators to make sure the signal is strong. Questions. This was for if I was live, but I needed to knock this out right away. So again, the most important thing you can think of here is your Google business profile. Go to business.google.com forward slash create. Create your listing, search for it, see if it's there. If it's not there, create one. Once it's there, you access it from the nine squares in your Google and Gmail account, Google account. And then this is how you now work with it. You used to be able to use a mobile app. I'm not sure if the mobile app is still available, but I just prefer desktop. Um, there's just a lot of things that you can do here, okay? So right now I'm pretty, my profile's uh, strength is very strong. I've got something I've missed. So I should go in and try to correct, correct that. But I would go into every one of these sections. Uh, this is your photos. So you can see the photos that, that we've added, okay, over time. And again, it's, you know, it's it put your storefront. Get, that, get your reception inside your business. Get your service trucks. Get your staff, for heaven's sakes, highlight and hero your staff in your, um, in your profile. These are all important things to do. So, um, okay, I think that's about all I wanted to talk about. I know this might be long-winded, but it's good information. I tell you, if you focus on this, you will 1,000%. I'm so confident. I see this every day. You will get more phone calls. You will get more business in the door. You will start to rank better. Okay, get your products listed, and for everything you have in you, get your posts, start creating posts on an automation. Reach out to me, I can talk to you about our CRM, uh, humantouchcrm.ca, you can find out more information there. There's a two minute quick video that'll walk you through some scenarios, powerful stuff inside there. Um, okay, thank you.